But I just left Smart and Final, and right next to Smart and Final, um, in between Smart and Final and Best Buy, there used to be a, uh, well, I'm gonna show you this building here. There used to be a Staples here, okay? Now, used to be a Staples right here. Right there is the Smart and Final. Over there is the Best Buy. Get away from my car. Um, so then right after Staples uh, closed down this location, I, I don't think Staples is out of business, but I, right after they closed, this, closed down this location, immediately construction started. They start tearing down the front, repainting, putting a whole new storefront up, doing some work on the inside. It, it, it started immediately. So whoever, took over this here and i don't know who took over it but whoever took it over basically knew that 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 lease was up or that they were moving out and decided to jump in on it so it was already the planning stages was already planned uh, uh way in advance before they closed down it wasn't that they closed down and then whatever company's coming in here decided to move in after because construction would not have started yet. Plans would not have been approved and th that sort of thing. Drawn up, then approved, and that sort of thing. It went through revisions. So, you know, you run through projects like this in your area and you're like, man, how do I get on projects like this, right? <clears throat> how do I become one, the general contractor that's doing this project or the subcontractor that's doing the doors or the windows? Or the painting for this 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 deal here, or the demo contractor, the subcontractor, right? How do I get on with these projects? So what you do is you uh, so usually companies like this will be um, already have a listed sub uh, uh, general contractors. So let's say like Best Buy here, right? When Best Buy want to do some work. They don't go out and look for general contractors. They usually have a set general contractor or a construction division that seeks general contractors or general contractors that seek subcontractors or general contractors that are self-performers, okay? When uh, Smart and Final wanna do some work here, they're not scrambling trying to find out you know, what general contractor, uh, uh, you know, who they're going to send out to. They may have a construction division or they may have a company that has a construction division that may find the generals or may find the subs. So how do you not miss out on projects like this in your area? You find out who, I see a door open over here. See that door open right there? If I wanted to find out about this project, I'd go in there and talk to someone. Hey, you know, who, who's moving in here? It's kind of late to get on, right? But you find out who that company is, okay? And that person may tell you how to get on with them as a general contractor or as a subcontractor. You never know, okay? Or you wait till this place is built out and then you find out <clears throat> who's the owner of it, whether it's Best Buy, whether it's Smart and Final, and you contact their departments, okay? You go on their website and you find out who's dealing with... Um, uh, uh, uh procurement right who's dealing with contracts okay you might have to search through that a little bit to find it okay it may be tough you might have to google contractors that do work for smart and final contractors that do work for best buy and you may have to contact that contractor that general contractor to be able to bid, be on their bid list as a subcontractor so it requires a little bit of work on finding. Now, if you're to be a, a general contractor for this, remember, you got to go through, uh, they want to review your financials, right? You're going to have to submit your, uh, uh, your, your financials. You're probably going to have to get it certified with a CPA, which is going to cost some, some bucks, you know? You have to show some type of track record or similar type projects. So they're not just approving whom and whoever to be a general contractor for them, okay? so. It requires a, a bunch of work, a bunch of de uh, a bunch of research to find out how do you get on with these companies that that are around here. Find out what companies are listed as the general contractors. Find out what companies have already done work for them. And it's just a Google search. It's just literally Google searching and calling them and saying, "Hey, 
I, um, I do this and I do that and I have this experience. Can I be put on your bidders list? Oh, we're not the general contractors. Do you know who is the general contractors? And they usually lead you down to the right place. Another way to get in here is that if you get in there, you talk to someone and there's a set of plans there, you get a chance to take a picture of those set of plans and get the, the architect. Okay, the architect always got the information. You find out who the architect is for this project. If you get a glimpse of the uh, plans there or come here while construction work is being done and then you get to talk to whoever's on site here where you can get a glimpse of who the general contractor, uh, who is the architect, and then you make contact with the architect and the architect will tell you who all the general contractors are, who all the players are most of the time. You might have to bug them a little bit or they may just give it out to you right away. My construction entrepreneurs, this is how you get on with, 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 with construction projects that are in your area. I used to do this type of work. I don't do it no more. It's tough. It's, uh, uh, it's definitely required a lot of work, a lot of sales, um, um, definitely a lot of zoozings and wham whams and all that. So, hey, hustle hard, then hustle harder. Catch you on the next one.